we want to make some gold pennies today. First thing you want to do is get some clean pennies. If they're not clean, you can use some steel wool to scrape off all the gook and gunk uh, like we're showing here. If you have a bunch of crud on there, then the process that we're going to do is not going to work. It won't take uh, and your pennies will not be gold. They'll just be ugly. We're going to use zinc powder and a chemical called sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a very caustic base, not costly, but one that can cause chemical burns. So you don't want this to splash on you. If you do get some of this splashed on you, this solution we're making, then you need to rinse your hands off immediately with soap. We have to wear goggles throughout the whole time because the base will hurt our eyes if you get it in there and we can't have that. So wear goggles over your eyes the entire time. I'm gonna make this solution uh, for you. I'm gonna put in a little powder zinc in here. We're gonna heat it up. We wanna get it hot and steamy, but not boiling. If it's boiling, you should just take the beaker off the hot plate and put it directly on the lab bench. Uh, it won't be hot at the top, so that is a sure way to get it to stop boiling quickly. If you just turn it down, it's going to stay boiling for a long time, and we don't want that. They'll start to turn silver because everyone knows if you want to make a gold penny, you have to turn it silver first. And people always ask me, hey, Mr. Page, when is it silver? Well, when it's silver. If it's kind of coppery silver like this one is, coppery silver is not silver. It needs to look silver, as in shiny and silver colors. So we're going to put this back in and let it cook some more. You can always give it a little swirl, but go round and round. Don't go back and forth. We don't want it to splash out. Now, once we have these nice and silver looking, we're going to use our tongs. I like them curved over and not up. Pick them out one by one and put it into the first beaker. We'll use one small beaker of water for washing and one small beaker for cooling once we heat it up, which we'll see in a minute. So try not to mix these up. So this one's going to be contaminated with some of that sodium hydroxide. But we want to get, uh, we're going from a very concentrated heated sodium hydroxide here to dilute it a whole lot here. We're going to shake it off a little bit. We want to get as much of the zinc particles off of it. We want to get as much of the uh, sodium hydroxide off of it. So we're going to swirl it around a little bit. And then we're going to take it out. First of all, it's not going to be hot anymore. This is just room temperature water. We're going to take it out and bring it over to the faucet and rinse it off. See, they look silver. A little running water going, I just rinse it off. I don't, I'm not trying to scrub it. I'm trying to get uh, any of the residual base off of it. I'm trying to get any of the pieces of zinc off of it. So it just looks like a shiny silver penny. And then I want to pat it dry. If it's still wet, and we're going to put it into a flame next. If it's still wet, it causes some discoloration. Not a big deal other than it won't be a super pretty gold penny. Now, if you saw the other videos, this is a Tyrell burner. We're going to make sure it's, the gas is open on the bottom. Make sure the barrel is closed so it's choked. We'll light the lighter first and then turn the gas on. It's important to light the lighter first and then turn the gas on. We'll get a crappy flame like this. We'll open it up by turning it round and round and round and round until you start hearing that lapping noise. You can hear it there. It's, it's like you're going to spit like that. It should have a pale blue inner cone, and the hottest part of the flame is right above the pale blue inner cone. If you cram it right down on top of the barrel at the very top, it's not that warm. So I'm just rotating it through like I'm cooking a marshmallow. I don't want to heat it so much so it melts. That can be really dangerous. And once it turns gold, I put it into the other beaker of water, and it should cool off. There's a silver one. I stick it in the flame. Rotate it a little bit, just so it gets uniformly hot. 
and they are hot, so you should shove it into the bottom of the beaker so it's fully closed. Once you get done, turn off the gas, and you're all through for the day.